Why don't you stand to your feet and join us in worship today? Wasn't that just a great time of worship? Even though that we're not in the building together, we can still worship together on a Sunday morning uh, with the videos that we have, with the material that God's given us, with the tools that God's given us. We are just able to worship together. So thanks for joining us with worship. Before we get to the prayer, buddy, before we get to the lesson, I have some things I want to teach you guys. Well, I wanted to let you know specifically that God is righteous and that he is fair. But what does all of that mean? Being righteous simply means to be right and fair. In everything that God does, he is righteous and fair. Just like when your parents ask you and your brother to do chores, and one of you might do your chores and the other one doesn't, your parent might discipline one and might reward the other because they are righteous and fair. This is like our God. He is righteous and fair as well. That is exactly what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about God being righteous, but he's also still being fair with the story of Noah and his ark and how God took care of him. Even though he threw down this big, beautiful storm, God took care of Noah. He was fair to him and did not throw a storm at him that was too much for him to handle. So let's walk over to the prayer buddy and see what he's got for us today. All right, so this is our prayer buddy. He actually helps us pray. He, he holds on to our prayers throughout, throughout the week. So let's see, which one, which one should I grab today? Let's see here. I think I'm going to grab this one. All right. So this prayer request is asking for the coronavirus, that it would go away this minute, and that all of our friends would stay safe. All right. So this is what we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the coronavirus to go away and our friends to stay safe. Let me put this back somewhere in one of these slots. 
All right, at home, bow your head, put your hands together. God, we love you. Thank you for taking care of us. Lord, you are righteous and you are fair. Lord, with your righteousness, would you take away the coronavirus and keep our friends and family safe from all harm. Keep our loved ones safe. Keep our friends safe. For your purposes, God, and for you, God. Lord, we do love you. Amen. Doctor, do not worry. God is, God, God is faithful. God loves. Hey, Rocky. Is, how you doing? Hi, Pastor Aaron. I, hey. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. What are you up to this week? Oh, you know, I'm trying to recall all the different lessons that we've gone through. All the way back from the start of this quarantine. All the way up to today. Mm. Wow. I'm wow. having a little hard time remembering all of them. Well, I, I completely understand. We've gone through so much in these past couple of months. Rocky, I'm so proud of you for going back and and just going through the videos and figuring out what all the stuff is that we learned. I, I'm very proud of you for doing that, but can I help you in any way? Oh, please, 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 Mr. That would be awesome. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Being that I'm on the, the kids' church team, I actually have some cards of the lessons from the past couple of months. So here's what we're gonna do. Are you listening? Yeah. We're going to go through these cards twice. We're gonna go through them two times. The first time, I'm gonna read them off, and you're gonna repeat after me. The second time through, I'm going to read them, but you're gonna finish, finish each phrase. How does that sound? That, that sounds like a P double A plan, Pastor Harry. That sounds awesome. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's how you spell plan, but okay, Rocky, are you ready? Yeah, hey, Pastor Harry, yeah? can the kids help me too at home? Oh, yes, make sure to help us at home. Let's do it. All right, here we go. God tells us, don't worry. Yep, that's right. God is faithful. God is faithful. Good job, Rocky. God loves. God, God is love. God sacrifices. God loves. God is love. And God sacrifices. Yep. God is compassionate. God is compassionate. Jesus restores and forgives. Jesus restores and forgives. Jesus is life. Jesus is life. All right, Rocky, good job. Now we're going to go through the second time, and you're going to finish each phrase, okay? You can do it, buddy. I have faith oh, in you. I don't, I don't know, Pastor. I really need the help of the kids at home. Guys, can you help me? Got to make sure to join us in when we do this. Okay, let's do it, Pastor. All right, God tells us. Don't worry. That's right. God is. Faithful. Good job. God. Loves. God is. Love. God. That's right, he does sacrifice. God is compassionate. Yep, yep. Jesus restores and forgives. Good job, Rocky. And Jesus is life. Oh my goodness, Rocky, you went, through, you went through all of them. You did such a good job. I'm so proud Ooh, of you. That was tough. Well, thanks for joining us at home with that, too. Rocky, you did so good. Thanks, you did Pastor. So good. Thank you. You did good, too. Thank you. Thank you. You know what, Pastor? What? Oh, I think, Rocky, I think you're right. Well, luckily, being on the kids' church team, I think I, oh, I think I overheard them talking about what this week's lesson is, and I have a video just perfect for it. You want to listen? Yeah, yeah, that would be great, Pastor Aaron. All right, I think the video is about God being righteous and fair. All right, let's watch that video. Stories of the Bible. Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hi. Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah. But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, birds, moss, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. 
Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the flood waters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, "Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth." Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. God was righteous and he was fair. Wasn't that just so amazing, Rocky? Yeah, he sure is, Pastor Dave. Yeah. He sure is. That was awesome. All right, Rocky. Well, it's about that time of the video where I, I just have a couple of questions for you, buddy. Are you ready? I sure do believe in it. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you spell that, but let's get started anyways. So here is the first question, and this is also for you at home. How was God righteous when he sent the flood in the story?
How was God righteous when he sent the flood in the story? Oh, are you asking me, Pastor? Yeah. That's right, Rocky. And because God is righteous or good, he doesn't just protect people, but he his, the people from the story, but also protects people like you and me, those who he loves. Yeah, Pastor. I, I, okay, I have a question for you now. Okay, okay, that's new. Yeah, you ready for my question? I sure am. Which is better, Chevy or Ford? Hmm. Are we talking trucks? Or are we talking no, sedans? I'm just joking, Pastor. That's <laughs> my question. <laughs> we all know it's Chevy. Um, that's right. <laughs> Hmm, that's a very good question. That is a very good question. Well, Rocky, as shown in the video, even though God had to get rid of all the bad that was going on, he was also fair by not making the, the storm too strong and too dangerous to where Noah and his family could not survive. He even saved the animals. Yeah, he even saved the animals. God is so fair. Wow, that's, that, God is really righteous. He's really fair. He is. Yeah, he how is. amazing is that? That's so Oh, it sure is, Rocky. It sure is. Well, what a great story that was. But you know what time it is now, guys? It's time for our Remember Verse. Yay! So get up on your feet and join in. It's going to be a great time. Hi, great fans. Today I'm going to do the Remember Verse. I and the Resurrections and the Life. Whoever believes in me, who lives, even though they die. Whoever lives, by, by, even in me, who never die. John 11, 25.